when you saw the photograph of the top secret documents laid out on the floor at Mar-a-Lago, what did you think to yourself looking at that image? How that could possibly happen. How one, anyone could be that irresponsible. It's completely different from the Mar-a-Lago case. Okay, so Paula, speaking of differences, can you lay out the differences between this and the Mar-a-Lago document issue? Based on what Biden's team is saying, they are setting up some key differences. So I'm gonna ask Jonathan Lemire if it really is different. Taking classified documents is a very serious matter. We're not saying it's yes, not, it of course it is, no, but there's no very. comparison here. Republicans quickly pounced on the revelation, but the White House says the circumstances are far different than those in the Trump case. There are key differences between this and the case involving former President Trump. There are some perhaps differences here. No, I mean, what you just said is yeah. right, that, yeah. that there are differences in what happened. Yeah. No, we got you. <laughs> It's always the same. The Democrats deny election results, but it's different when they do it. They use political violence and attack government buildings, but it's different. When the COVID lockdowns were in effect, we were called grandma killers for protesting, but it was apparently completely different when they did it. When Obama kept kids in cages, it was different. When Democrats spread disinformation, it's different. When Democrats discriminate based on race, it's different. <gasps> Bring us water! When Hillary Clinton stored classified and top secret documents on her personal basement server, we were told she had no ill intent and thus no laws were broken, even though she had no right to possession of those documents. Fine, fine, precedent set. No deal. Except a Republican, Donald Trump, has also taken classified materials into his possession, which now means the standards have apparently changed and government officials are calling for him to be executed. But wait, there's more. Now we find out that Joe Biden, a Democrat, also took classified materials when he was vice president over a decade ago that nobody apparently knew about or cared about. And of course, the standards now change again because it's different when Democrats do it. And we're going to get right into that after this quick message from Noble Gold. Noble Gold Investments is pleased to let you know that gold is the best investment class of 2022. According to longtermtrends.net, gold has actually outperformed the S&P 500, Dow, and Bitcoin for 2022. So what are you waiting for? Open a gold or silver IRA with Noble Gold Investments this month and receive a free one quarter ounce American Gold Eagle coin with every qualified IRA of $50,000. You can't go wrong with Noble Gold and their thousands of five-star reviews. So call 877-646-5347 to find out more or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. And remember, there's always a risk of investment and there's no guarantee of any kind. Like the Democrat state media rules clearly state, the only legitimate scandal is one that involves the Republicans. In order to maintain that kind of subterfuge, you must constantly be changing and warping the standards because those standards that you set might come back to bite you, which is why it's always different when Democrats do it. Okay, so Paula, speaking of differences, can you lay out the differences between this and the Mar-a-Lago document issue? It's a great question, Don. So based on what Biden's team is saying, they are setting up some key differences. Excuse me, what? Don't you just love that these so-called journalists are going purely based off the word from Biden officials? Like they investigated themselves and found they did nothing wrong. They are setting up some key differences from the Trump case. The first one is just the volume of materials that we're talking about. Another big difference is cooperation. The other big difference at this point is obstruction. Uh, Biden is not under investigation for potential obstruction. These are all just distinctions without a difference. If taking these classified documents is illegal and wrong, then it doesn't really matter how many of them you have. And the fact that the government's taking way harsher actions against the Republican than they ever do the Democrats doesn't exactly prove your point. I'm gonna ask Jonathan Lemire if it really is different or whether it's just the libs trying to hide things from the American people. But we'll, we'll, go, we'll go through the questions. Okay, yeah. We're going to do it now or later? Sure, why, yeah, you so, know. It, Why don't I ask you really he's quickly? He's feeling it. Can I, so. I just, can, can, do you mind if we ask, if I ask you a couple quick questions? Because you, like, you, this is your beat, right? It's not funny. 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 I'm going to go ahead and say that based on that, 
strange display of weirdness that yes, once again, the libs are trying to hide stuff from the American people. Okay, so, <clears throat> so on these docs, I mean, it's the same thing, right? Because Trump had docs, Biden has Trump. His first question. Vice uh, Wait a minute. Did she just say Biden was vice president? Is she trying to suggest that being vice president gave him the power to have these documents? Because Trump's argument has always been that as president, he had the power to declassify these documents, which many lawyers came out and said at the time that he does not have. So if the president doesn't have that power, how exactly does the vice president have it? There are differences in what happened. Yes, but you know, the are not good. Well, we all know that Trump is a liar and a thief. You know, we know that. It's not that big a jump to say that he obstructed and he lied. We don't think that Biden is a liar and a thief, so we give him the benefit of the doubt. That's partly what's going on. I should have let you, what the fuck? No one will believe the truth anymore. And that, that you can put that at the, at the feet of Donald Trump, who started the lying. here marching in the civil rights movement which was a lie being shot at in iraq that his son died in iraq getting arrested visiting nelson mandela being a truck driver claiming that he and his family were coal miners claimed he worked for boise cascade claimed that he was a professor claimed that during the israeli six-day war that he was a liaison claimed he was a football star claimed he had three degrees claimed he attended an all-black college plagiarized speeches essays and policy positions Wrongly claimed that Trump called neo-Nazis fine people and that police were killed by protesters at the Capitol. That's just what I can think of off the top of my head. She admitted everything right there. It's different when Biden does it because they like Biden. Biden is in their party and a part of the ideology that they propagandize every day. They hate Trump conservatives and republicans so they will always be guilty all right folks any more of this and i'm gonna have an elaborate series of embolisms if you enjoyed this please hit that like button share this video and leave a comment to continue the discussion thanks a lot i'll see you all in the next one